Do you want to learn how to crochet this one skein cow? Then you've come to the right place. I'm Little John Yarns. I come out with new patterns every single week, so make sure you hit the subscribe buttons and the notification bell so you're always up to date. This pattern works up fairly quickly with a one row pattern repeat which creates this beautiful stitch. By the end of the pattern, you will have a 24 inch beautiful cow. The materials for this video was provided by the Lion Brand Company. Go over to their website so you can download the written PDF so you can follow along to this tutorial. All the information will be down in the description box below. The material that we'll be using are, is scarfy yarn, aqua charcoal, and a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay, let's hop into this tutorial. Before we begin, make sure you go over to the Lion Brand website and download this free pattern so you can work along with me with this video. We're going to start by chaining a total of 36. Once you have your 36, we're going to place three double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. So this is one, whoops, one, two, three, and four. So let's work three double crochets into that space. One, two, and three. Now we're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and we're going to place a single crochet into the fourth stitch. Now chain three, one, two, three. We are going to place three double crochets back into the very same stitch. One, two, and three. This is going to be our pattern repeat all the way down. I'm going to show you one more time. We are going to single crochet into the fourth stitch. One, two, three, four. Chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochets back into the very same space. One, two, and three. All right, you can pause your video here. We're going to continue the same pattern sequence all the way down, but we're going to stop at the last four stitches and we'll work those together. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the very last four stitches. Okay, we've made it to the very end of the row. We have four stitches left and we're just going to single crochet in the very last stitch. And this is what your work looks like so far. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bumps. For our second row, we are going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Turn your work. We're going to place three double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and four. This is three double crochets. One, two, and three. Next, we're going to single crochet into that chain three space from the previous row. Here's the chain three space. You'll see this little gap in between. So we're going to place a single crochet there. And we're just going to repeat the sequence from the previous row. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochets back into that very same space. One, two, and three. That is going to be our pattern repeat. I'll show you one more time. Single crochet into the chain three space. Chain three, one, two, three. Three double crochet back into that very same chain three space. One, two, and three. 
All right, that's going to be our pattern repeat all the way across, but we're going to work the very last one together. So pause your video here and continue repeat, repeating this pattern repeat for the next one, two, three, four bumps, and I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it to the very end of our row, and we're just going to place a single crochet in the very last chain three space. We're going to repeat row two until your piece measures 48 inches or 122 centimeters long. So if you're not exactly sure how to do row two, I'm going to leave a timestamp below exactly where row two starts. So pause your video here and I'll meet you when your piece is complete. Okay, we've made it to the very end. And what you have to do is fasten off your work and leave a very long tail for sewing. Some people don't like to sew, so I'm going to show you exactly how I um, see my ends together. I'm just going to fold my work in half like this. We're going to line up our edges. I'm going to insert my hook right below the very first tail where I began. Here's my tail and here's where I'm going to insert my hook. And I'm going to insert it on, other, on the other side underneath the previous single crochet. And I'm just going to um, slip stitch and bring that loop through. All right, we're going to work into the very first chain three on the front side. You see the chain three space? Now find the chain three space on the back side. And we're going to slip stitch very loosely, very loosely. Pull up a long loop. And now we're going to go into the dip of your work. It's like a little dip. You see how this little string space is? We're going to go right underneath it and go into the dip of the back of your work. There you go. That was your single crochet, and we're going to slip stitch loosely. All right, we're going to go through the front, chain three space, back, chain three space, slip stitch loosely. Now, we're going to go into the front dip. You can recognize it. It's underneath that little single strand there. And the back dip through the back single crochet right here and slip stitch loosely. I'll show you again. Go through the front, chain three space, back, chain three space, slip stitch loosely. Front dip, the back dip, slip stitch loosely. Okay, we're gonna continue that all the way across and then you're just gonna fasten off your work. Here's what your project looks like on the reverse side after sewing. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other crochet patterns. Okay guys, I'll see you all on the very next tutorial.